Hello pilots and welcome back to Flying with Overkill F-18C Hornet. Today we will be looking at buddy lazing by request. And to help us out with that we have one of our wing members here with us today from VCW-13. That is Apollo, who is the squadron leader for the Spartans. If you guys are interested in checking us out, please come on and visit us at VCW-13.com. We accept pilots of all skill levels. We are primarily a United States... Um, wing we fly typically at um, around anywhere from 6 to 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time so if that suits your needs by all means uh, please come check us out so Apollo thanks for joining us today thanks for having me all right guys so what we're gonna do jumping right into it we have waypoint one set in the box here waypoint one is a target area but I'm gonna show you guys how to designate without using the waypoint if possible we're going to come up here, set our master arm to on, air to ground mode. We're going to go ahead and set our mavericks into the uh, timing position, get them ready to roll. We already have our FLIR set to on, but we're also going to need our laser target designator today, and more importantly, the laser search track. So we're going to flip that switch to the on position as well. We have our attack menu up here on the right DDI. We're going to bring the FLIR up, and we're going to put it into FLIR mode down here. Now, we have two codes that we uh, use when we're talking about the... Um, TGP. We have the uh, laser target designator code, which is this guy right up here, and then we have the laser search code, which is over here. The laser search code we're going to get from Apollo once we're uh, ready to start tracking his uh, laser signal. We're also going to be using two different methods of employing our Maverick state, and this applies for any laser guided uh, munition, so um, it could be the GBU 12s, anything to, to that effect. Okay. So the first method we're going to use. Uh, Apollo's laser code to guide the missile in. So essentially it's going to be fire and forget for us. So once we uh, get the Maverick onto the laser signal, we're going to fire our Maverick and then we can turn and run. We'll still watch the explosion probably over here on the TGP, but we don't have to. If we needed to get out of the area, we could. Okay, it's going to be up to Apollo to maintain laser on the target until the missile detonates. And then the second method we're going to use is once we use Apollo's laser code to find the target, then we're going to use our laser on the second Maverick to guide the missile in. All right. So without uh, further ado, let's go ahead and set up our laser code first. So we're going to go ahead and hit UFC. And you can see we have LTDC and LST. LSTC is laser search track code. So that's what we're going to enter in Apollo's code. And then up here we're going to enter in ours. So let's go ahead and just change it to, let's do 1656. Okay. And we'll go ahead and set one of our Mavericks to the same code. And we'll set that for Station 2. So let's step on over there. And we're going to change it to code 1656 as well. So that one's already ready to roll. But then we also need Apollo. So we're going to step back over here to Station 8. And Apollo, what's your laser code today? Laser code is 1671. So we're going to throw 1671 in the box for the Maverick. Oh, helps if I hit the right missiles. Let me change that back. 1656. And then change our UFC. There we go. You can see that one's box now. And 16... After I hit code, 1671. And enter. So we have 1671 on station 8. And 1656 on station 2. Now we also need to set up our laser search code. So we're going to come back over here. UFC. We're going to hit LSTC this time. And 1671. And you guys can see that, that changed here. So we have our laser code of 1656 up here, and the search code, code we're going to be looking for over here. Now, I'm going to make my TGP sensor of interest by using se sensor select right. I'm going to hit my cage button to cage the TGP back up to the bore site. And then now, what we're going to do is we're going to put the TGP in the general vicinity of the target. Okay. And actually, I'm going to adjust something on my controls real quick, guys. Bear with me. Actually, you know we'll do it later. We'll just do it the old-fashioned way. So we know what we're looking for. We're looking for our little target area with the X. And so I'm going to come off of autopilot for a second. See if we can't find it out there. Should be... Where is our little guy? There it is right there. You can see it right there between those two buildings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use our um, Velocity Vector Slave. And we are going to put our 
velocity vector on the target area and the reason we're doing this is you need to have the TGP still in the general vicinity of the target okay you can't just point it anywhere and hope that you catch it so let's go ahead and come back over here it's off to our left and so once I get it over there we're gonna just use our target designate button so right about now and you guys can see the diamond appeared go ahead and back the camera back out let's go back into a little orbit here There we go. Okay, so as I was saying, you need to have your TGP in the general vicinity. You can't just know that there's a target out here somewhere and put your laser search code on and hope that it finds it. Okay, it's got a, I believe, a 60 degree field of view from far left to far right. Okay, so anything that's outside of that, it can't see it, right? It's still got a limited field of view just like anything else. So that's why it's important to at least know the general area of your target, you know? And so now that we are all set, we can go ahead and call Apollo and let him know that we are ready. So Talon 1, Spartan 1, on station AGM 65 times 2, ready for tasking. Do you have target available? Talon 1, Spartan 1, target identified and ready to laze. Copy that. So now what we can do is we're going to go ahead and turn inbound. And once we're inbound on the target area, we'll let Spartan know again. So there we go. So let's report Talon 1 at uh, IP, ready for designation. Talon 1, Spartan 1, copy that. Laser on. So he's got laser on, so now we're just going to come down here and hit our LSS button. And you can see that it already found the target. Okay, and sometimes it takes a few sweeps to do it. If you ever find that it's not catching it, try caging it and recaging it, get back into the target area. But we've already found it. So now all we need to do is come over here to our Maverick menu. We'll go ahead and bring the um, uh, reticle up. Verify that we have the correct weapon selected. We want Station 2, I believe, for this one. Let's back out for a second. Yep, looking for Station 2. And so we'll go back into the reticle. And let's uncage it. And you can see the X has already located it, but we're still a little ways out. And we're just waiting for that X to turn into a green square. And actually, you know what? I selected the wrong Maverick. So let's uncage again. And now it's found it and rifle. So now it's up to Apollo to maintain visual of that target the entire time in his TGP to guide the missile onto the laser point. And that was a pretty sh uh, close shot, so we should see a detonation any second now. Boom! Target destroyed, laser off. All right. So tell them when to copy is Shaq. So it's important that you guys always remember to turn your lasers off. If you run your lasers for too long, they do overheat. And it, not only does it disable laser, laser, it actually turns the switch off back over here, which can obviously mess you up. So that was a good hit. So now we're going to go ahead and come back in for one more time. And this time we're going to use our laser and guide the target in. So give me just a couple seconds here, guys. I'm going to extend out a little bit and we'll turn back inbound. All right, guys, so we're 10 miles out now, so I'm going to go ahead and turn back in, and we'll go ahead and report. So Talon 1, Spartan 1, on station and ready for new tasking, AGM 65 times 1. Do you have a target? Talon 1, Spartan 1, copy that. Target identified, ready to laze on your inbound. Roger, we'll call on inbound. Copy that. Laser on. All right, so we're going to turn back in towards the target area here. We got it back on the TGP. Same principle as before. Going to bring our laser search up. All 
All right, so the target's been identified. So now we're going to go ahead and go back into the narrow field of view. We've got a BMP on target. So tell him one Spartan 1 target identified. Rifle. Spartan 1 copies. So we've got our laser on and missiles away. I called my rifle a little early there. Got a little ahead of myself, but we got it out. So now we have to make our keep our TGP a sensor of interest. We got LTDR in the top of the TGP letting us know the laser's firing. So no matter what we do, we need to keep the laser on that target. And you can move it around a little bit if you need to. If it ever comes off target for any reason, or if you mask it for a second, as long as you get it back on quickly, the missile should still impact. And there's a shack. Talon 1, Spartan 1, shack confirmed. Copy that. Talon 1, Spartan 1, Talon 1, off station. Talon 1 copies. All right, guys. So that's the basics of buddy lasing. Um, if you guys are struggling with it, a couple things to be aware of. Make sure that you have your laser code set, obviously. Make sure that you have your TGP in the general vicinity of the target area. Okay, you can't just point it out. Like if we had a target bearing 350, we can't just point it out there and hope it finds it. Okay, um, and uh, just make sure that obviously you keep your missiles or your laser code, your laser track inside the missile reticle before firing the Maverick. And if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them in the field below. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you, Spartan, for your help. You are welcome. All right, guys, stay safe.